I'm James. And I'm Emily. We show you our actual weight loss journey with the keto lifestyle. Make sure you like and subscribe and follow us on other social media platforms such as Facebook and Instagram. Get ready. Set keto. All right, we're making something that, so Emily made this last week and it made is- Made it on a whim. It is amazing. And I want everyone to try it because it is really, really, really good. So it was such a hit in the house. He said, we've got to do a video because it was so simple. And if you know us, we like things that are simple. And it's delicious. So here she is. I'm going to show you how I made it. So basically, I am basing this solely off of how we make chaffles and it turned out really good. So first things first, I need three eggs. First ingredient, eggs. Second ingredient is Parmesan Romano. I have a half a cup of that and a cup and a half of mozzarella. Next, I am using organic garlic salt, Redmond's organic garlic salt. I'm going to do a half a teaspoon. I am also using just chopped onion in this and I'm going to use a tablespoon. If you know chaffles, usually you're going to use baking powder. So I'm also using a half of a teaspoon of baking powder. Mixing it up with a fork. All right, next up is a pizza pan. So I am just going to dump this mixture on parchment paper on my pizza pan. up is another piece of parchment paper. Possibly two just to make sure it covers. So I will get that ready. Rolling pin and I just rolled my mixture out on my pan when I did this. And moving my mixture around. Can we eat it now? <laughs> I don't think it would taste very good. Oh, this is taking forever. Right. So right. when I don't have it perfect, It's all right, I'm gonna re-roll it. I want a thin and crispy crust. So that's I like thin crust. <laughs> so I already have my oven preheated at 400 degrees. Um, it seemed to work well. The day I made it was the day we made Joe's chicken nuggets. So. As long as my pan is pretty much as close to edge as possible, I'm going to just throw it in the oven. So we'll be right back. Oh. So 15 to 20 minutes, 400 degrees convection. So in the oven. 
15 minutes, 400 degrees convection oven. And this is what our crust looks like. So not perfectly round. If you're a little bit OCD, I'm sure you could get it there, but this is fine. Next, I'm gonna do a sauce and to keep the ingredients clean, I am using Cento whole peeled tomatoes. The ingredients are tomatoes, tomatoes, sea salt, and basil. That's it. Um, so it's real simple to keep your sauce. I heated it up and I mashed the whole pot tomatoes um, to get a tomato sauce. So just nothing added, just pure tomatoes and basil. Only going to use a half a cup. And you can use whatever kind of pizza sauce fits best for you. So that is going to be good. And Since the crust is mostly cheese and egg, I'm using about a half a cup of mozzarella. Just because the presentation looks more like a pizza that way. And I am using pepperoni. I did count these just because I wanted to know the exact macros of what we're having. And the total macros on this entire pizza, depending on if you count eggs as carbs, we're going to count the eggs as carbs. So we are calculating under, so depending on if you count carbs in eggs, um, it can vary between under 10 carbs for the entire pizza or under 15. We're going to count carbs for the eggs that we're using. There's six total carbs in the tomatoes for the sauce that we used and a half a cup. Um, the other carbs come from egg and cheese. And if you take away the pizza sauce, you could really make a carnivore pizza. So I'm going to throw this back in the oven and just let it bake enough to crisp the pepperonis and the cheese. Five minutes and we have melted cheese and pepperoni on top. Simple as that. This is something you could really not have any toppings on and dip in some kind of sauce or anything you'd like. So you want to try it? Here I am. <laughs> you want to get a plate or something? I'm going to go ahead and cut him a slice while it's hot so he can burn his tongue. So yeah, this kind of pizza is best cut in squares. Thin crust belongs in squares. Just my opinion. <laughs> So I'm going to cut half of it for now. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're not showing a texture. This pizza comes out super thin. Super thin. And again, depending on if you count carbs in your eggs, under 15 carbs, maybe under 10, depending on whether or not you calculate that. Mm. Good? So good. I'm gonna tell you really quick how I calculated it. Six carbs total for the tomatoes, the sauce, uh, for a half a cup. 
Parmesan Romano. There's no carbs, but I think some people do count carbs in Parmesan. Look, for real. Ignore her. This is just pizza. It doesn't taste like anything special. It doesn't taste like keto pizza. It doesn't taste like... It doesn't taste like anything special. It tastes like pizza. That's it. It's wonderful. Trust me. I like food. This is amazing. You need it. And the only thing that will make it better, and I'm surprised I'm really saying this. Is what? Maybe some finely chopped green pepper. Wow. That's surprise that really, really surprises me. Or maybe some pickled jalapeno. Jalapeno would be wonderful. Mm -hmm. We should have done that. And bacon and sausage. You can top it with whatever you'd like. All right, one more test. Here it comes. Austin! Now, for our non-keto non son, Austin. What do you mean non-keto? He's mostly keto. I'm like, I'm like an omnivore. And like, Damn, dang, this is hot. <laughs> it's full. It's all right. <laughs> ah. It's good. It's like, hmm, it's good. It's a good crush. It's like, it doesn't taste like anything like, like you would think like keto pizza. It just tastes like pizza. Yeah. I think the tomatoes you use, you give it like a spaghetti sauce. Hmm. Taste. Because I think it's, it's real tomato. Yeah. I think it's really good though. Two thumbs up. Bang. Okay. Next up is, what does Noah think? Good. What's it taste like? I mean, I can taste the pizza sauce. I don't really taste the, the crust tastes like normal crust. I don't really taste too much egg. <laughs> Thank you. You can take it. <laughs> Quick, simple, like I said, thinking like chaffles and... Here, I, this is my first piece. Right. <laughs> Good? You ate my pizza. All right. So, in case you were wondering and um, wanted to know how we made it, this is how we make our pizza now. I'm speechless, my mouth's full. <laughs> Alright you guys, thank you for watching. Hope you love the pizza as much as we do. And it's going to be gone and way before you see this video. Have a good night. <laughs>